How's it going, everyone? Morning. Welcome back to another episode of John's on the Rock. We're currently en route, headed up the Viking Trail, up the west coast of Newfoundland, headed towards uh, Gross Morn right now. Today's trip is going to be a uh, another backpacking style trip. We're headed into Western Brook Pond, which is uh, probably the most one of the most famous, most photographed areas of of the park. Yep. So we've got two nights, three days uh, backpacking. Uh, we'll be staying at the Snug Harbor campsite. Hopefully, if if no one's there, we're we currently get a permit. We're yeah, to get a permit. We could book in advance. No, uh, we uh, we tried calling, couldn't get a hold of anyone. No. They said show up the day of and get and register. So we're hoping no one's got the site booked or yeah. is not overbooked. So we'll hike in today and then tomorrow we're planning on hiking up to the North Rim, which is uh, about you know between 600 and 700 meters uh, above sea level, and there'll be some beautiful views out over the pond. And uh, yeah, and then we'll stay the second night and hike back out the next day. So. Yeah, we hope you enjoy this one. We're uh, getting a little bit of an earlier start than we normally do, so we're both a little bit groggy this morning, but uh, it should be a good trip nonetheless. The permit has been acquired. I thought we would be able to get a permit at the park entrance there where you can purchase park passes and whatnot, but apparently mm -hmm. the only place they do it is at the visitor center there, which is a temporary one they've set up there in Rocky Harbor. So we're legal. We have, we have the place or the site booked for the next two nights. So now it's just a matter of getting there. Yes. <laughs> that, that was the easy part. The permit yes. is the easy part. Yep. Lots of, uh, seems like lots of tourists out this morning. And we're coming in to do the, uh, the boat tour, which if you're ever visiting Newfoundland and you're in the Gross Morn area, highly recommend it. It's definitely uh, worth the price of admission. It's a beautiful boat tour. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is. We've done it several times ourselves, but won't be doing it on this trip. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day. But it's going to be a a warm one, but okay. Take your time. Stay hydrated. This way and get the view of the gorge, looking down the gorge. Yeah. Yes. Set a sustainable pace. Yes. Because uh, I think we kind of started off kind of with a. Yeah, we're a little bit gung ho at the start. Gung ho at the start. Now it's warm. We're settled into a uh, routine now. Yeah. Take a little break at the landing mm -hmm. where they catch the boat to go on the tour. Have a break, hydrate, and then. Uh, Head to Snug Harbor.
there's nothing for it but to... Uh... Yeah. From what I've read, they say the, the closer, like, closer to the mouth of the river is a little bit more shallow. So maybe that'll be... <laughs> Moisture. Just a little, a little moist. <laughs> That's alright though. It'll dry out at camp. Yeah. So we're safely on the other side. It wasn't too bad. It, it probably got up to mid thigh. Yeah. Probably knees for me. Yeah, knees for you. Yeah. This isn't one to do if you uh, care about your boots. Very, very muddy. Oh! It's not exactly the easiest trail I've no, sir. ever hiked. <laughs> it's really overgrown. They're really overgrown. And muddy besides all that, but that's okay. Uh, the views, once you break out close to the pond, as you can see here, quite uh, spectacular but yeah we're chugging along we just met a couple of campers a couple that were coming back I presumably from Snug Harbor I don't think they were doing a long range traverse on the other side but maybe they were and we got a couple of campers behind us a couple with a dog so we're uh, might have some company at camp might have, yeah there might be someone else staying at camp there might be someone already there who knows but uh, but it's a gorgeous day and that breeze is a godsend you didn't have that to be stuck Anyway, onward, upward. This is the uh, what we're hiking through right now, and then followed by this. Nice little break on the uh, on the beach down there on the pond. Yeah, it was a much needed break. The wind off the pond and having a sip of water and a snack yeah. and a little rest. I was starting to get all kind of stumbly. <laughs> when you get tired, you know you're gonna. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But no, part of that's the trail. The trail. Whew. You know, there are places there you're just pushing through chest high trees and you're just hoping that there's a trail under you. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a climb now and then a little bit of a descent and then uh, we're pretty much at our destination, so. Yeah, probably what, another kilometer and a half maybe? Something, something like that, I'd say. We're in the home stretch we're for sure. Yep. Yeah. Picnic table. Made it, Dan. Yeah, <laughs> in one piece. Long, <laughs> long slog to get here, but oh, it's man. Uh, a hot day, and the trail was garbage. Yeah, but um, we're here now, and mm -hmm. uh, and you've already seen the view from our front uh, <laughs> our front door. All right, time to set up camp. I think so. Let's go get a camp. Yeah, let's do it.
set up. Camp is just uh, just behind us there. Hopefully you can hear me over the stove. Yeah. Just having a little bit of lunch here. A craft dinner. We have a couple neighbors. Boston. Boston. So yeah, they came quite a ways to uh, see the West Coast, but oh, it's a beautiful sight. One of the can't really get a better view than this. parked the car we came in this is where the boat tours leave from so then we went as far as the river across the river and then we walked along the shore cut through these woods these woods and came down to snug harbor and is where we are now so eight kilometers total tomorrow the plan is to go along the shore here for a little ways cut up <laughs> and up and up and up and up and up and up and then there's a look off up here or a place to look from the northern rim, you can see. Which is roughly there, there somewhere. Pretty sure, well, whatever water we take with us will be what we have for the day because I don't think there's any, any water source up there. No, I don't think so either. back and taking in some of the scenery some of these uh, ancient cliffs <laughs> yeah um, Western Brook Pond used to be well originally salt water all of the glaciers melted the earth underneath underwent what's known as isostatic rebound which is basically when uh, the pressure and the force and the weight of the glacier is removed the earth well <laughs> it rebounds. Um, all of the fresh water kind of came in and flushed out the salt water. Yeah. And it kind of transitioned from what would be known as a fjord to a gorge. <laughs> a gorge, yeah. A lot of glacial features here too in, in the gorge. You have hanging valleys and, and stuff that's all sculpted by glaciation. But mm -hmm. The other interesting thing is that the, some the mountains are a part of the old Appalachian Mountain range. So, but it's been worn down. So, there's some of the oldest rocks in Newfoundland here on the West Coast. So. Yep. Geologically, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Supper time. Dad's having creamy pasta and chicken. I'm having the uh, red beans and rice. Got some kielbasa. We have quite a few more neighbors. <laughs> seven, seven or eight of them. Yep. Hopefully there's enough room for everyone tonight.
our uh, our site's a little more crowded than we expected, but yeah, I thought like maybe another group of campers, you know, maybe two or three other people at the most. But there's, I think there are 14 of us here tonight. Yeah, it looks to be in total. So we're just out scoping out where we're coming tomorrow for our, uh, our hike up to the North Rim. North Rim. Some very uh, friendly Nova Scotians on our trip. Yep. Welcome uh, to Newfoundland. Yes. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> What's everyone's names again, sorry? Bella. Santa. Maya. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Mayas and the Richards family. Awesome. Welcome. Oh, you too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, but ready to turn in now. It's um, ten to ten. We and, met our neighbors, uh, and they were some very lovely people. Very nice people. We had a nice chat. And, uh, had a little show put on. <laughs> that was great. It was great. It was really nice. So I just to get ready to settle in now and yeah, get some good sleep now for our big trek tomorrow and an early start tomorrow. Get to the north rim, we hope. That's the plan. We'll have to pack our bag tomorrow. Yep. But like you said, we'll have all day tomorrow and we'll be traveling late, so. Thank you. Right on. Cool. All right. I'll see you in the morning. Yes, ma'am. Good night. there and see what the views are like. Hopefully we'll make it. I'm not sure what this trail's like, but uh, anyway, well, we'll see. It's another gorgeous day here. Just about to head up our ascent, and we're headed right up there, give or take. Yeah. Climb's not getting any uh, easier, just standing here, so. No, let's get a move on.